Hey guys, uh, what's up? This is uh, I'm Handy here with another uh, tutorial on emulators and how to get them. Uh, on this one, I'm going to show y'all how to get a PSP emulator. And uh, to start off, I'm just going to show y'all how, how, how well it runs. Because I was actually fairly impressed with it. And to be quite honest, I've messed with a lot of emulators and installations of them. But this one was kind of difficult. Like, in, Well, until I found everything I needed. It was just kind of spread out all over the place. So yes, it's gonna drop to like 20 while my recorder's running. Oh, it's actually running. All right. Uh, yeah, and it runs pretty smoothly. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah. Uh, that was probably really loud. But uh, yeah. So let's get started. Well, uh, first of all, let's see. Uh. I'm gonna put all these descriptions, I mean all these uh, links in the description in uh, below. Uh, but to start off, yeah, oh, I already copied and pasted it. Okay, good. Um, you're gonna go to, I started off with the emulator zone and then I went to the JP, the actual site for it. But uh, I found another site that I would actually use. It'd be probably the preferred one for everybody. Uh, you just copy and paste this and put it in uh, your search bar your URL bar, my bad, uh, and it's going to bring you to this page, and you're going to click download, I use the Windows 32-bit version, because uh, from everything I've heard, the 64-bit version is still kind of experimental, which that was a little bit ago, but I still have not tested it out, but yeah, your safest bet is going to be to download the 32-bit version, and uh, Whenever you uh, download it, uh, it's going to give you a RAR file and a program that when you click on it, it's going to open it up. It's like an NHC file. Uh, do, if you already have one RAR, you don't really need that. So yeah, uh, you're going to extract it and it's going to bring you to wherever you put it. I would keep it pretty organized. It's going to give you this file right here. So it's AJPCSP-Windows-86. Uh, and it's going to give you all of this bin. You don't really need to mess with any of this. This is where your games are going to go when you finally get it. It's in the UMD images. But uh, just click on this batch file. Windows, uh, I mean start Windows. And it's going to bring you to that thing, uh, to the main screen where you just saw me at. And let's go ahead and get your configuration started. I can't really show you exactly what you need to do detail by detail. Because it really, it depends on uh, your computer or what I guess system you are using. Well, I mean, it, the Windows 7 is going to be in the title, so I guess you'd be using Windows 7. But it also depends on the specs of your computer and everything. So, yep, you need to be like this, and you can change your UMD or your games folder. So just pick whatever you want. Uh, of course, you're going to want uh, if you're English, you're going to want <laughs> English, I guess, I guess, or you're going to have a hell of a time figuring this out. And uh, I wouldn't really mess with any of this. Your video. Uh, these are the ones so far that I've seen that work the greatest so far with Windows 7 is the GE graphics and uh, sa the enable saving GE screen. I don't know if it was just on my computers or not, but I heard a lot of people say use shaders, but when I use shaders, it messed up my video completely, so I didn't use it. Don't mess with audio, because a lot of the stuff needs to be just regular defaulted. And if you're using the 32-bit version like I said you should use, then uh, use your media engine. If you have 64, I've heard that you... I heard a while back that you don't need to use it. Uh, compiler, use that. Crypto, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know what any of that is. So, uh, But just don't mess with it, I guess. Uh, and yeah, that should be all you need for your basic configuration. That's how I have mine running. Alright, uh, but before you try running it, after you configure it, before you try running it, you're going to want to, uh, let's see, let's see, close this. And you're going to want to... Uh, you want to go to this Java runtime environment, which in the README, if you read it, it says before you even try running it, you're going to want to uh, use, uh, you're going to want to download this. So let's see, copy. And paste. Or I guess if it's in the description, you can just click on it. Alright, and you're going to click download now. 
and after what I think it takes like a few minutes maybe seconds I don't know to download it's gonna bring you to this right here this Windows uh, Java thing you're gonna of course you're gonna want to download it I mean install it so click install I already have it installed and this is gonna take about five to ten minutes if it takes a little bit that's alright it's supposed to and whenever you're done it should be fine you don't even have to do anything else uh, and if everything runs fine like your sound and everything runs fine then you should just stop right here just go get your games or whatever you want to play which I'll show you in a minute how to get to but if you don't like mine mine had trouble with the sound so I had to go to uh, get the sonic stage downloader if my nope, there we go uh, you're gonna want to get the sonic stage downloader which is gonna be at this uh, URL right here okay you click it you you're gonna click on it in the description it's gonna bring you to huh. it's gonna bring you to this page right here CNET which I've seen that seems to be working really well all right you're gonna want to make sure it says 4.3 which it should if you if you click on the link or you can google it I guess but uh, 4.3 is the version you're gonna want you're gonna download that and it's gonna bring you to this right here sonic and stage installer and you're just gonna click on it and it's gonna bring you to the installer again but I already have it so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel yeah see it won't even let me download it and then after all that you should be fine it's gonna ask you if you want to restart your computer and it will not work until you do restart your computer so yeah and then pretty much just for your games which I'm just gonna have to say for legal reasons if you don't own the game you're not supposed to own any uh, ISO files or anything of that sort but yada yada uh, go to Google and pretty much it's really easy to find these games I mean I use BitTorrent and I just download stuff like Pirates Bay and all that but just if I could spell yeah look uh, it's alright I'm just gonna click on this because I already have it downloaded I brought it to this and uh, it brought me to this and you just pretty much click get this torrent it's gonna ask you to launch this application which is BitTorrent and you should be good uh, if you have any other problems guys just tell me in the comments or if you if you didn't like something about the tutorial tell me and I'll try to fix it or I might try making another one just uh, yeah just tell me if you have any configuration problems and I'll do my best to help y'all out so yeah guys thanks for watching